shot earlier of the Jazz preparing for action. And thank you for joining us for this Valentine's Day presentation of the NBA. It's a matchup you're going to love. Right here on 2 k Sports. This is Kevin Arnold along with Steve Kerr and Clark Hill. And on the sideline, of course, for the it's East versus West here in Salt Lake City. Jazz hopes to put on a show for these home crowd. And he beat them last time for his 2 2 pick down in South Florida. Yeah, you're right, Steve. They will take a point from the law to that end of the court. All right, presented by State Farm. Let's take a look at the Miami starting five. Tom is in at the point. Howard is out there with LeBron James. Then there's Chris Buck. And it's way in at the shooting guard position. And for Utah. They were out there with Askew. Then there's Favors. And it's Wilson Chandler. And the Jazz thrown out with the ball. Here is Vasquez. Beats to Hayward. Trying to shoot. He gets the bucket. Hayward has the first points up on the board for the Jazz. He doesn't have a whole lot of speed, but he's pretty hard. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. You know, he's been one of those players they've wanted on the line as much as possible this season, especially in close games, guys. For the Utah Jazz, they won the last contest. That game against the Trio Blazers in the Rose Garden. Well, the thing that served them best in that game was their fantastic three point shooting. And the way they were rotating, moving the ball, getting it from side to side, getting open on the perimeter, boy, it was beautiful to watch. Help that one. You know when they're Ding him up, I mean, he's a very good shooter from out there. Defense. I'm going to keep going here following the win against the Thunder. They went up against an extremely passive defense in that game, Clark. That was, uh, that was something to watch. Yeah, but trust me, Steve, they weren't complaining about it at all. I mean, you'd love to catch a team having an off night defensive. Chandler, no good. That's a look that he'll never pass up. The one he'll usually never miss. Let's find out what Doris Burke has for us. Kevin, I briefly spoke with Miami's head coach. I asked him what he thought might be. Thanks for the report, Doris. Steve, what are your thoughts on that defensive focus? Well, it's the right strategy, Kevin, because you have to play to your strengths as a team. You can't get away from who you are. And that's right, Steve. Their strength is certainly what they do defensively. They can rattle for Way dishes to LeBron. And it's blocked by favor. About two minutes play here in the first quarter. Here's Tate. Oh, in the low block. And that one should have been. Well, he has gone two or three here to start out the game. Pass to Wade. The natural. A three ball. And the three. Another three. So I think this is the start they want to come out and put some points up early. Three or four so far. It's been a slow start here for Utah. Trailing by four. Hayward takes the next in. Chandler the pass to Fingers. That one's good. Fingers has got his first bucket of the night. Well, they could keep the possession. They can hold the shot nicely done. This is a good luck. That's a no. Again, the heat. Good for two. This has been the start that they had hoped for. Filling and knocking down four of their first five shots. Back to Chandler. Shoots from the baseline. And again, the Jays score. Four of five from the field so far. Takes it to LeBron. It's a nice ball movement here by the Heat. The natural. This one for three. Rebounded by Wilson Chandler. It's on trailing here. 